happy Monday. I hope you're having a great day today. It is Monday, March 1st. Yeah, it's the first day of March. Let's look at our calendar. Here's our picture for March. And let's look at the days. Okay, here we go. Ooh, first week right here, first day. Monday, March 1st. And right down here we see March 2021. Well, we've got two great books to look at today. This week we are discussing the solar system. I'm going to read this one first. The solar system. The solar system is a family. The solar system has many parts. The sun is at the center. Oh, and we see the sun right there, and here's Earth right here. Nine planets go around the sun. Okay, there's nine planets here. So we see the sun right here. And then we see Mercury and Venus and Earth where we are. And then Mars and Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto right out here. Earth is one of the nine planets. Seven planets have one moon or more. And it says, Earth has one moon. The moons go around the planets. Asteroids are big rocks. Those are just like rocks we see on Earth, huh? There are thousands of asteroids in the solar system. Asteroids go around the sun. Comets are balls of ice. So that's a comet, and it says comets go around the sun. And fun fact, comets have tails when they're near the sun. Shooting stars are bits of rock or iron that fall to Earth. And it says shooting stars is another name for meteors. Bits of rock or iron go around the sun. The solar system is a great big family. Yeah, that's wonderful. And that's the solar system. And we're going to be discussing it this whole week. Okay, I've got a great book here too. It's called Let's Fly a Kite. I love flying kites. This will be a great book. Let's fly a kite. So here's the opening pages and the pictures look great. Ring, ring. The doorbell rang one windy Saturday. Hannah and Bob raced to the door. There stood Laura, their favorite babysitter with her dog, Ralph. Hi, kids, Laura said. Anyone want to fly a kite today? Yeah, yelled Bob and Hannah. Ooh, let's find out what happens. Okay, but we'll have to make one first, Laura said. Hannah and Bob watched as she cut a large diamond shape out of white paper. They heard their parents open the back door. We'll be back later this afternoon, called their dad. Laura, there's a picnic basket on the kitchen counter. Bye, shouted Bob and Hannah together. Before we put this kite together, we have to decorate it. What do you think it should look like, Laura asked. Let's decorate it with waves and whales, said Hannah. We should paint it with red with a lightning bolt down the middle, said Bob. I know, said Laura. I'll draw a line across the kite so you two can each have a part to decorate. The bottom part's bigger, said Bob. I'll draw my lightning bolt there. Hey, cried Hannah, that's not fair. Bob's part is bigger than mine.
I have a better idea, said Laura. They watched as she erased the line and drew a new one. If I draw the line down the middle, both sides are the same size and shape. Now go to it. Markers, glitters, glue, and crowns flew everywhere. When they were done, Laura showed them where to put the supports and the string. So there's their kite right there. Now who wants to try it out at the beach, asked Laura. I do, Bob shouted. Me too, said Hannah. Laura put the kite and picnic baskets in the trunk of her car while Hannah and Bob climbed into the back seats. Ralph always got to sit in the front. They were off to the beach. Ooh, what fun. Bob, you're hogging the whole back seat, complained Hannah. Well, you were hogging it before, Bob replied. Hey, hey, said Laura, there's enough room for both of you back there. While they waited at a red light, Laura used her finger to draw an invisible line right down the middle of the seat. Now, both sides of the seat are exactly the same, she said. And if I hear any more arguing back there, Ralph and I might eat the entire picnic ourselves. The rest of the ride was quiet. Before they knew it, they were at the beach. Oh, do you see the invisible dotted line there? Yeah. Over here. See how they both have the same amount of space? Who's hungry? asked Laura as she took out the picnic basket. Me, yelled Hannah. Me too, said Bob. I am starving. Well, at least you guys agree about something, said Laura. I've got two picnic baskets here, one for Ralph and me and for one for the two of you. Why don't you go ahead and spread yours out? They unfolded their picnic blankets and Bob sat down. Hey, leave some room for me, cried Hannah. See their blanket right there? Let's find out how they split it. Hey, I'll make a fold down the middle. Now both of your sides are the same, said Laura, leaning over the basket. Those sides look the same, said Bob, but they're too skinny. See how they divided it the first time? But they were too skinny, so they had to rethink how to divide it. Let's read about that. Here, I'll make a fold down the middle. Now both of your sides are the same, said Laura, leaning over the blanket. Those sides look the same, said Bob, but they're too skinny. So, what if I fold it like this, said Laura? The sides are the same way this way, too. See how she divided it? Perfect, Hannah said as they sat down to eat at last. Laura peeled, peeked back inside the picnic basket. Looks like there's one banana and honey sandwich left, she said. Who wants it? Me, shouted Bob. No, me, shouted Hannah. Let's see, Laura. I'll cut it this way so you can share it. Oh, if they cut it that way, it's not even, huh? See how this is bigger than that? But that way the sides aren't the same shape and somebody gets a bigger piece, said Hannah. Okay, okay, said Laura. How about this way then? Looks good, said Hannah. Tastes good too, says Bob. So see how they divided it that way? If we divide it that way, both sides are even. But if we divide it this way, both sides aren't even. When they were finished, Laura pulled the kite out of the trunk and shouted, let's fly a kite. I want to fly it first, said Hannah. No way, said Bob. You'll need to work. To, we'll need to work together if you really want to make this kite fly, said Laura. Bob, you hold the kite high above your head and let go when I tell you. Laura instructed, Hannah, you take the string and when I say run, start running as fast as you can. I'm ready, said Hannah. Me too, said Bob. Run, shouted Laura. Bob, let go, Ralph barked and raced Hannah down the beach. For a moment, the kite hovered just above the ground. Let out more string, Hannah, called Laura. The kite started climbing high into the sky, but a few minutes later, it suddenly dove towards the ground. Go and help, Laura shouted to Bob. Oh, how fun. Flying a kite is a lot of fun. 
Bob caught up to Hannah, and she tossed him the string. They sprinted down the beach until the kite was flying high into the sky once more. Bob and Hannah took turns making the kite swerve and dip. They even let Laura have a turn. You're a pretty good kite flying team, Laura said. Bob and Hannah grinned as they watched their kite soar far out over the ocean. The end. And down here, it shows how we can split paper in half so that both sides are equal and we can make a little snowflake. Yeah, we've done that before. That's a lot of fun. This book was called Let's Fly a Kite. That was a great book. Well, I hope you have a great Monday, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye, friends.